Pokemon Horizons Episode 10, titled Nimona and Brassius, just finished airing, so it's time to review it. This episode is not currently available with English subtitles yet, and I don't understand Japanese, so for that reason, my review will be pretty brief and it won't be 100% accurate, and it's not intended to be used as a replacement or a substitute for the real episode. Be sure to watch the episode yourself to experience it fully. Now let's just dive into it, you know? Liko and Roy arrive in the town of Artisan and immediately bump into Nimona, and dude, her personality is exactly what you'd expect. She immediately tries to challenge them to a battle, and then Liko quickly realizes that Nimona is the famous champion rank trainer of Paldea. Nimona takes Liko and Roy to Brassius's house because Brassius knows Liko's father. Liko's actual father, not Ash Ketchum. I know some people are still holding on to that hope. And yeah, they want to talk to Brassius because Brassius supposedly saw the shiny Rayquaza that Roy is after. After meeting Brassius and then talking to him for a while, Brassius is really shocked and seemingly upset when Roy tells him that the shiny Rayquaza came from his ancient Pokeball. Because I think Brassius is obsessed with the Rayquaza too. He even built a sculpture of it. So maybe Brassius wanted Rayquaza? I don't know. Later on, Liko, Roy, and Nimona take part in Brassius' gym challenge to gather all the Sunflora. And hey, I'm just saying this is very inaccurate to the video games. Because in the video games, this gym challenge ran at like two frames per second. And I don't see that happening in this scene in the anime. Very, very, very inaccurate, very shameful. Anyway, then plot twist, Roy is the one to battle Brassius at the gym, and that really took me by surprise, I thought Nimona would battle him. The battle is Fue Coco versus Sudowoodo, and Brassius absolutely runs the laps around Roy. He's got the double teams, and the taunts, and the rock throws. Fue Coco is being demolished, dude. And although Fue Coco does learn Stomping Tantrum, I believe, Brassius then terrestrializes Sudowoodo, and dude, the terrestrialization animation is so beautiful in the anime. They absolutely nailed it, man. Incredible work. But yeah, if Waikoku gets easily demolished, understandably, considering how new and weak he is. And that's pretty much where the episode ended. So yeah, overall, this episode was genuinely fantastic, dude. Seeing Nimona and Brassius was awesome, and their personalities were absolutely bang on the money. They felt exactly like they did in the games, you know? It was great. Seeing Roy learning more about the shiny Rayquaza, and seeing Brassius being fascinated by it too was awesome. Awesome, but the highlight of this episode was absolutely Roy versus Brassius. I only briefly covered the battle in this review, but genuinely, you've got to go and watch it yourself. To me, this battle felt the most alive a battle has felt in a long time in the anime. The animation was really, really good and really, really pretty, and the amount of character and charm packed into this battle was insane. Brassius' battle style of taunting Roy with his hilarious Sudowoodo, his way of dominating every facet of the fight, it was really thrilling, dude. But the best part by far was Roy and Fue Coco. Seeing Fue Coco losing himself a bit in the battle and kind of losing control and ignoring Roy was so funny. And Roy's reaction to it all was even more hilarious. The animation here really had so much character. The way that we could see Fue Coco running around aimlessly, but we could see Roy in the background flailing as well. It was so charming, dude. This was such a great battle and such an amazing way to show the power of gym leaders. I did kind of think that Nimona would get a bit more spotlight in this episode. This kind of felt like the least important a game rival has ever been in their debut episode. She just kind of led him to Brassius and told him about terrestrialization, and that's kind of it. But honestly, I'm okay with it because it seems super likely that we'll see her again plenty of times in the future. Let me know your thoughts on Pokemon Horizons episode 10 in the comments below. Did you like Nimona and Brassius? What did you think about Roy's gym battle? I'd love to hear it, dude. Also, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button if you enjoyed my review. That really helps me out a ton and I would really appreciate it. I think that's gotta be everything, so thank you all so much for watching and best wishes until we meet again.